What is the easiest dog breed in the world to own? Well, as a canine behaviorist, I work with dogs when they're displaying problem behaviors for their owners. So usually the more I see a breed, the more it means they might be prone to negative behavior. And therefore the flip can be said, if I don't see a breed very much, it's usually a pretty good sign that they were fairly easy to train and fit into many lifestyles. And I know that size is a big contributing factor for what kind of dog breed you want. So let me give you a few different examples, a few different size points. On the bigger side, I very rarely get the opportunity to work with St. Bernard. So that is a good indication that they might be a good choice to look at. On that medium size, Labradors and Golden Retrievers, although I jump at any opportunity to work with them, it's because they're so easy to work with and I enjoy it so much. But it also means I don't get too many opportunities to do so. And then on the lower side, as I always say, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So choose one of those three or four options and you can thank me later.